Hey guys, what I'm thinking about it, I wanted to express what I think I do differently and I want you to do it the same. So I'm not afraid of being wrong, right? I think, I think people call this like being egoless. I don't think it's quite correct, but I think when we innovate, when we develop, we need to be having a debate. You know, we got to be um, weighing up both sides. And I feel like I come across people who are just too afraid to speak or only speak like, oh, I, it should be this way because it's done this way. It's like you, you need to be open to making, to, to have a conversation in technology. That's where when the real innovation happens. And I must say, I've been, I, and I still am an, an asshole, don't get me wrong. You know, I can you know, jump into a conversation and, and be awkward and, uh, and, and, and not facilitate the discussion as well as I'd like. But that's, that's key, is to keep the conversation going, give people the confidence and, and the comfort to, to make mistakes. And the best thing I can do, I think, as a, like a tech lead type thing, is to, is to make sure that we have a workflow uh, a process in place so that we can quickly fix problems as they arise. You know, I'm, I'm done with this like approach where like we have to like carefully uh, review every every commit. This like PR request. I think this the better approach is to allow people to commit to, to main, like only allow people to commit to to trunk main and just have this approach that like if someone makes a typo or someone did something wrong, just fix it. Just fix it. Just go. And um, and don't say, oh, you made a mistake. It was this person. Just fix it. Just move on quickly. Iterate. Innovate. And if you did make a problem, like even if it wasn't your problem, just like, oh, oh, sorry about that. I think it was, uh, you know, I thought it was me that made the, you know, don't be afraid to to own the problem. Don't be afraid. I know dealing with some clients, because I'm in the consulting game, that, you know, there's there's a there's an onus or an expectation to appear a professional. Like don't speak unless, you know, you're presenting the solution and things like this. And all very well, okay, if that's the expectation, I will tone down my <laughs> I'll tone down my sort of rhetoric. But the better clients are the ones who, who are on this journey, in this, I hate this journey, who are, who are just open to exploring the problem and, and making mistakes. And, and more importantly, like, who won't sh shut me down because like, you know, I admit that I don't know. And a lot of people don't do that, y y you know, you'd be surprised. Sometimes I'm, I'm coming into a meeting and, uh, okay, I read the agenda and then, 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 then they ask me like, or they don't ask me or whatever, it doesn't matter. And I'm, I'm happy to say I don't know the, what the, the solution is. That's what I want to hear from other people too. I don't want like people giving me like this process, proposal, and you know, obviously they're drumming up and doing the hard sell. I want them to tell me what the freaking problems are too. Give me the cons. Anyway, rant over, but I hope you get the point, guys. Try not to be that asshole. Try keep the door open to innovation. And the way you do that is you make mistakes along the road. And you, and you, uh, you know, deal with them in an amicable way. And you're fast about it. Okay, that's enough. Time for breakfast. See you guys. Like the video, you know the drill.